In this video, I'm going to show you another type of configuration where we can do it in aggregation layer, and that is called double-sided VPC, or sometimes they call it back-to-back -back VPC, or some people call it bowtie topology. Uh, they call it bowtie topology because this seems like a bowtie, and you can see these uh, purple links here. They look like a bow tie here, so this is why we call it bow tie topology. But uh, double sided v VPC is a better name for that. In double sided VPC, what we have is two Nexus switches down here, most likely N5 Ks, and two Nexus switches out there, most likely N7 Ks. Of course, I'm using N9 Ks for all of them, but let's say that this is the topology that we have. And these are connected to servers, maybe some kind of this, but I have connected this to up the upstream services. So you just ignore this part. And what we have is we are going to create a VPC uh, from up to here. So I'm going to have this VPC and this VPC. All of them, of course, are going to be part of one VPC. And then I'm going to create the same thing down here. All of the links are going to be in the same VPC. So instead of creating two different VPCs, I'm going to add uh, other links to the VPC up there and uh, all the links down here. Now, the thing is the domain is going to be different. I'm going, I have used domain one up here. I'm going to use domain two down here. So they are going to have different VPC configuration. And also, because I want to make sure that uh, we are not confusing, I'm going to use some different VPC numbers. Of course, you don't have to, uh, but I'm going to use, let's say, VPC 10 up here and VPC 20 down here or some other numbers, whatever that you have used. Because I've used 10 up here, then I'm going to go with 20 down here. So basically what I'm doing is to add some of the interfaces to the VPC up there. So uh, let's do some changes to the configuration. Um, and I'm waiting for the other switch to come up. So let's see that I'm going to click speak. I don't want it to go to Pope. So going back to NX1, uh, what I'm going to do is to say show run. I'm going to include everything about, oh, let's say show run interface E11 and 12. These two, of course, are connected and uh, used as peer link. You can see this here, E11 and 2. But what I have used is E13 and 4 on both sides. So I'm going to check this, show run E13. And it says that I am part of this channel group. So the only thing that I need to do is to add two more interfaces to that, and that's going to be five and six. On both sides, of course, I need to do the same thing. So I'm going to say interface E1, 5, and 6, and I'm going to add this configuration to here, to all of them. So they are going to be trunk, they are going to be part of channel group and there are going to be no shutdown also they are going to be in switch port mode so that's going to be this and the vpc configuration is already done so if i say show run interface po uh, 10 you can see that i have all this set vpc 10 so what i did is just to add two more interfaces on nx1 i'm going to do the same thing on here so i'm going to say show run interface e15 show run interface of course show one so ethernet one five and one six these are already part of this but i'm going to add e13 and four to the topology so i'm going to say configure terminal interface e1 four and five three and four of course three and four then I'm going to paste this configuration. So let me see what I have done here. Let's say that interface E1, 3, and 4. And then I'm going to use this configuration and paste it here. 
So because I already have VPC 10, then they are going to be part of the VPC. Now let's see if this is added. So I'm going to say show run, not show run, show VPC uh, brief. For now, everything seems to be good. And also if I go down, I can see that for this, I have uh, PO10, which is up and running. And if I say show port channel summary, I can see that all of the interfaces under this should be running. For now, these are suspended because on the other side, I have not configured them on NX4 side. So some of the interfaces might be suspended because NX4 is not up and running. So let's go back to NX4 and see if it is up there. So I'm going to log in here. I'm going to say configure terminal. I'm going to change the host name first of all to NX4. And most likely I'm going to do this whenever I uh, start to switch. And I'm going to say WR is copy run start. So that's going to be the thing that I use all the time. Also, I'm going to say uh, DIR. And then here I have this one. I'm going to make sure that this doesn't boot into Roman. So I'm going to say boot NXOS. And that's going to be under boot flash, of course. So let's type boot flash. And that's it. It's going to take a minute to check this to make sure that the image is valid and there is no problem. Uh, but after this, I'm going to continue the configuration. Exactly what I'm going to do is to enable some of the features such as LACP and VPC. And then I'm going to copy the config from NX3 to here. Now let's go to NX3 for now. I'm going to say interface mg, uh, let's see, feature LACP first, and also feature uh, VPC. And then I'm going to say show run interface MGMT0. There is nothing under that, uh, except the VRF configuration. I'm going to say no shut in case it is shut down and IP address is going to be 1123 uh, slash 24. And on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's just wait for this and see what's going to happen. And I'm going to say exit VPC domain is going to be 2. And under VPC domain, I'm going to say peer link or peer keep alive. And after that, I'm going to say destination is going to be 1124. And the source is going to be 1123. That is what I did here. Okay, the same thing should be configured on the other side. Okay, now this is just working. Very good. So let's just start with feature VPC, feature LACP, VPC domain is two, one is for the other side. I'm going to say peer keep alive, peer keep alive, uh, and the destination is going to be destination is 1123 and the source is 1124 and then interface MGMT0 interface MGMT0 IP address is going to be 1124 slash 24 no shot just in case Okay, I have configured the keep alive. Now the next thing is going to be the interfaces between these two, which is going to be Ethernet 1, 1 and 1, 2. And I can just copy the configuration from here. Uh, show run interface E1, 1. And it says that this is going to be switch port. Switch port mode trunk. Then I'm going to have a channel group. Number is not so important. 
So I could say interface E11 dash 2. That's going to be switch port, then trunk, then that's going to create interface port channel for us. So interf show run interface PO1 says that this is the configuration that I have. And here show run interface PO1 uh, has something which is called VPC peer link. I need to add this to the configuration as well. Okay, so it says that VPC VPC peer not VPC orphan port, so what is this that I am missing? This is under port channel, sorry. So interface port channel 1, VPC peer link. That's it. The same thing should go on switch 4. So let me see what I have here. I need to copy this on NX4. I'm going to say interface E1122. These are the configuration of them. And then I'm going to say interface P01 VPC peer link. Hit enter and this is going to be done as left, like this. Now the last piece of configuration is going to be the configuration of uh, VPC itself. So once again, you have running configuration of Ethernet 1 slash 3 on NX1. You can just kind of choose this and just change it a little bit. This is going to be uh, channel group 20 in my case. So I'm going to change it on notepad and 20 and I'm going to say interface E1326. So I'm going to copy this go to NX3 and I'm going to show you the full configuration in the end and then I'm going to go interface PO20 I'm going to say VPC20 the same thing on here so I'm going to do this and I'm going to say interface PO20 VPC20 Okay, that's all the configuration that we needed to have here. So let's check the configuration and let's see what I have done. I'm going to just type show run and everything is going to appear here. We already have username and password, doesn't matter. The features that you need to enable is these two, LACPN VPC. Going down, you can see that I have configuration of interface management. Here, under VPC domain, of course, I have here keep alive the destination is configured then i have this interface port channel configuration that is vpc peer link this is for the peer link and then uh, for port channel 20 i have this vpc 20 i don't really need this vpc 10 uh, this port channel 10 of course it's not the vpc it's uh, just a pc and let's see which one is put under 10. Doesn't matter because we have removed it. And we do not really need interface port channel 10. I'm going to remove this in a second. You can see that the interfaces that are in port channel 4, uh, the peer link, are Ethernet 1.1 and 1.2 with this configuration. The interfaces that are under virtual port channel are these four and they have all the same configuration. And under port channel 20, you can see that I have in, I have said that BPC 20 is enabled. And the last thing that I want to do is to just remove this interface. So I would say no interface port channel, no interface port channel 10 on NX3. So okay, so BPC brief is going to do verification. Everything seems to be good. The interfaces should be okay. Show port channel summary says that all the interfaces are in forwarding mode. The same thing I'm going to do on NX4. So show VPC brief. Everything seems to be good. Show port channel 
summary says that all the interfaces are in forwarding mode. The same thing should be done on the other side of the uh, configuration. All the interfaces are in forwarding. And all the interfaces are in forwarding mode. So basically what I did was I created two VPCs. One VPC on this side. And I put just all these interfaces in that VPC. And I created one VPC on this side. And I put all the interfaces in that uh, VPC. Normally, like I said, we have N7Ks here and N5Ks here. And this is going to be an aggregation layer of the data center just to increase the amount of bandwidth that we have. And this is why I used four interfaces instead of two interfaces on each of the switches.